All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Alex, and there's no secret that Outriders is in a pretty bad spot at the moment, and uh, I actually don't see it getting better. So, with that being said, I'm not going to hold my breath, you know, waiting for the studio to respond and, you know, upgrade the game, do some updates, and all that stuff. So, I just want to share with you guys a list of games that's coming out that could, uh, you know, possibly just replace this game outright. And these are just some games I'm excited for. They kind of look like they're going to scratch that same itch. And uh, I'm excited for all of these. So, let's get into it, starting off at number five. Now, we don't know a whole lot about Arc Raiders at this point in time, besides it's going to be free to play, it's a third person action game online co-op so it's always going to be online and it's going to be releasing in 2023 that's about all we know at this point in time but i'm definitely super excited to see more about this game the big open world bosses i'm super down for that the uh, whole co-op aspect you know teaming up with guys taking out these big threats and the actual visual style of the game looks pretty dope i like it a lot the whole you know you're kind of like a scavenger kind of mad max looking you're fighting these giant robots machines and stuff i like that aesthetic and i can definitely get behind that now what remains to be seen is the actual systems in the game. Is it going to be a straight up looter shooter? Is it going to be complex class trees? Is it going to keep it simple? You know, kind of make it, you know, class specific. You kind of pick a class kind of like Destiny does it. Or are they going to let you just have free reign? But uh, fingers crossed. Now I'm not going to get too excited because we haven't really seen anything besides one trailer and some screenshots. So my expectations are definitely tempered at this point in time. But nonetheless, keep your eyes out for this one. Add it to your wish list. Next up is going to be Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Now I know a little bit about the Warhammer world. I know it's super vast. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of lore. And this one seems to be pretty self-contained. So it seems like you don't have to know a whole lot about the, the actual world. But this one looks cool. This four player co-op. You get to control one of four different classes. I'm not entirely sure how the class tree works or if there is a class tree. But uh, people have actually got their hands on this one. And everybody said that it's pretty good. So I'm super excited. It comes out November 30th. And it's from the same team that brought you the Vermintide series. So if you like those games, if you enjoy those, I heard a lot of good things about those games. I never really got into playing them, but they always looked interesting, but I just never had a chance to get around to them. But I'm definitely going to check this out. And from what I've seen so far, it looks pretty good. Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is one of those games I had no idea I wanted until I saw the trailer. This game looks dope. I'm super excited about this one. Sad news is that it comes out in 2023. We don't know when. Good news is that it's made by Rocksteady Studios. I love these guys' games. I've been going through the Arkham Knight series and uh, I've been loving it. And I'm super excited to see what these guys can do with online co-op because, you know, of course, you're going to be four player co-op. And we also haven't seen a lot about this game, but, but this is just another one that you have to put on your wish list because I feel like they're actually going to take care with this game. Rocksteady tends to... You know, besides the Batman PC port, they tend to polish their games very, very well. So fingers crossed that this one is amazing. I hope to see some more footage soon and hopefully it comes out early 2023 and not Christmas 2023. Now, these last two games on the list are definitely my most anticipated games coming out by far. The first one is going to be The First Descendant, and this one actually doesn't come out this year. I don't think so. They haven't released a release date, but there's a beta in October, and everything I've seen so far has me super excited. There is a new trailer that came out a little bit ago. It shows some gameplay. It shows some visuals. It shows some special attacks and stuff like that. The game looks amazing. Now, with that being said, there is Anthem. Anthem looked amazing when we first saw it and we all got the game. It was fun for a little bit, but then we were like, oh, this is not the game we saw in the trailers. Now, do I think this is going to be the case with the first Ascendant? I don't believe so. I feel like Nexon Games, they won't put a game out in that bad a state as Anthem did, but uh, we shall see. This game is also going to be an action RPG. It's a looter shooter. It's third person. It looks pretty fast paced and uh, they seem to have some type of grappling hook system, you know, in the game. I'm not sure if that's like class based or that's just a gameplay, you know, feature. But the game looks dope. I'm super excited. I will be playing the beta, you know, in October. So if you want to see some more of that, subscribe to the channel. Come and check it out with me. And if I didn't mention it before, this is probably my most anticipated game. But the fact that we don't have a, you know, actual date, the next game is going to be the game I'm going to focus on with the channel coming up here soon. So that one is going to be. Arkham Knights. Now, out of all these games, we have the most information on Arkham Knights. 
thanks to IGN and thanks to this game being pretty close to release date. Now for a quick rundown of what we know about the game, it's going to be taking place in a post Batman Gotham City. Supposedly Batman is gone, he's dead, he's missing or whatever. And the players are going to either be taking up the role of Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood or Nightwing to, you know, fill up that space that Batman has left behind. The criminals are going crazy and you guys got to stop them. Now, we haven't really seen anything about the actual gear system in total, but we have seen some of the class trees from the uh, some of the IGN showcases. And it actually looks pretty good. It looks decent. It doesn't look super in depth, but uh, I'm pretty hopeful. It, uh, some of the gameplay that we've seen has also been pretty OK. And I really feel like the fault of that is because the people you know, showcasing the characters, they aren't really showcasing the characters. They're not really playing as aggressive as, you know, a normal player would play. So I'm going to give the game a pass on that front. I do believe that some of the outrage of this game saying, it, you know, that it looks lackluster is because the people playing the game, they're not really showing off the game like they should. So regardless of what people are saying about this game, it is very smart to be skeptical about games nowadays, but I haven't seen a lot of red flags with this game. So I'm going to be picking it up. I'm going to be covering it on the channel. So if you're also interested in this game, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be hosting, you know, like open lobbies and stuff since it's four player co-op, drop in, drop out. And not a lot of games still do that nowadays. So I'm super excited about that feature. And uh, I will be doing individual, you know, videos on this game specifically. Because like I said before, I'm going to try to cover it on the channel a lot more heavily. I'll be making, you know, builds and showcases and stuff like that. Proper showcases, proper builds, because what we've seen so far have been uh, pretty lackluster. But uh, nonetheless, if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. Come back, jump to my lobbies, play some games together, man. That's what it's all about. And with that being said, that's going to be my top five most anticipated games to replace Outriders, especially. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you guys check out some of these games, add them to your wish list, come back to the channel, play them with me. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. My name is Alex. I'll catch you next time. Peace.